Hey folks, this is Kalani. Welcome back to the Sanctum of Domination raid guide for Normal and Heroic. This time we'll be taking down Painsmith Raznal. One of the most important aspects in this fight is the boss's weapon. He starts the fight equipped with the Cruciform Axe, who will periodically hurl his axe at the tank with aggro. This deals a huge amount of damage to the tank and raid-wide AoE damage, depending on how far away you are from the blast. Tanks should take this ability into the very corner square of the platform, and preferably the same square each time. This will ensure it's far enough away from your raid to deal less damage, but the weapon also triggers spikes to erupt across the platform. The Cruciform Axe causes spikes to immediately erupt in four directions, so if your tank goes to the corner, only two waves of spikes spawn along the edges of the platform. This makes the ability super easy to dodge as your raid just has to stand in the middle to avoid the spikes. When the boss is below 70% health, he will use the Reverberating Hammer instead. This does the same heavy tank damage and raid-wide damage, so you want to take it to the same corner, but instead of spikes in four directions, this weapon causes spikes to ripple across the entire platform. Placing the hammer in the corner ensures you always know where the spikes are coming from, because they're always going to start where the ability was dropped, and then they'll always go the same way. To dodge the spikes, just wait until they jut up in one space and then move to that space quickly afterwards. When the boss is below 40% health, he will use the Dual Blade Scythe. You want to take this to the exact same place as it combines the two previous weapons. So you get the tank damage, then the raid-wide AoE, you get the instant spikes which should be across the edges of the platform, and then you also get the ripple of spikes as well. As long as your tanks are taking that ability to the corner, all of the spikes are super easy to dodge. The weapons also apply a debuff to your tanks that deals damage over time and increases their physical damage taken, so you want to tank swap after every weapon throw. If you get hit by any of the spikes, you'll take a bunch of damage and get stunned for 2 seconds, so avoid them at all costs. The boss's other main ability is Shadow Steel Chains. This will debuff random raid members and surround them in chains. They deal constant damage over time, but they will also knock back and deal a bunch of damage to anyone who comes within 4 yards of the player. Chained players need to stay out of the group and try not to knock anyone else around. This is going to be important for the next ability, Spiked Balls. The boss summons a row of spiked balls that slowly travels across the platform. If you touch a ball, you die. The only way to get through is to DPS one of the balls down to break it and create an opening for your entire raid to squeeze through. Have everyone focus one ball, I would recommend the middle ball because that's easy, and nuke it down as quickly as you can to get through early. On Heroic Mode, you'll also have to deal with Flame Clasp Traps. The boss marks several raid members, and after a short delay, they will drop a trap at their current location. These traps explode when someone walks on them, or when they get hit by spikes or spiked balls. When they explode, they deal raid-wide AoE damage and apply a debuff that increases the damage you take from trap explosions by 200% for 1.5 seconds. The best way to deal with this ability is to have all of the traps go down relatively close together, a bit away from your group, and on the opposite side to where your tanks are dropping their weapon throw abilities. Then assign one player to pop the traps one at a time, making sure to let that 1.5 second debuff fall off before triggering the next trap. Leaving these traps to be triggered by spikes or spiked balls is a recipe for disaster, so you want to pop them yourself in a controlled manner. You should also save some healing cooldowns for the trap explosions. When the boss gets to 70% health and 40% health, you'll enter the transition phase. The boss jumps away from the platform and starts making a new weapon. Every strike of his hammer deals raid-wide AoE damage and applies a stacking damage over time effect, so make sure your healers keep everyone alive during their transition. Waves of spikes will also constantly spawn and move across the platform. There's always a one square gap in these spikes, so find the gap and move through quickly so you don't get left behind. The boss will also throw out random fiery swirlies that deal a lot of damage if you get hit, so you just need to dodge those on top of everything else. After the transition, you go back into phase 1 with all of the same abilities, but remember that the boss's weapon throw abilities will change with each phase change. And that's all you should need to take down Painsmith Raznal on Normal and Heroic. Stay tuned for more boss guides for the rest of the Sanctum of Domination raid. Thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always I'll see you next time.